The theme for National Poetry Day is the environment. To celebrate, I'm going to read one of my poems called The Garden of Love. I hope you enjoy. The garden of love doesn't exist anymore. Terracotta tiles and mouldy roots. All that remains from the summer haze is a bench where God sits. A disorderly confessional where I lean on bruised knees and repent. God wears a crown mottled under the faded sun. It doesn't shine like it used to. The garden of love doesn't exist anymore. Broken flower pots and sharp edges. I hold hands with God walking slowly through the rubble as if we can change the past just by observing the future, but we can't. We talk about hope and redemption and how abstraction means nothing in the aftermath. The garden of love doesn't exist anymore. It only exists in our dreams. When I close my eyes in the shade of crooked branches and bullet petals, I can see lavender and honeysuckle, spring buds, summer florals, orange tulips and 10,000 shades of green. It's alive and I feel it too. But the garden of love doesn't exist anymore. Lifeless in the ruins, the birds do not sing ever after and the crickets are dead. After the fire, we forgot what it meant to be humans with hearts and limbs and souls. So we let the garden of love burn, hell's fires blaze. The garden of love doesn't exist anymore. The yellowed weeds are drenched with petrol and chemical rain. The smouldering smoke chokes us. Glowing embers burning underfoot. Ashes coat the paths we once walked. We are worn, torn and weary. We are tired. The garden of love doesn't exist anymore. God sits and sobs and doesn't have the power to fix it. We are too far gone. No longer a place for pilgrimage, the garden of decay. Resting my head against God's cold skeletal shoulder, curling up in the ash of the storm.